NJ's Next Generation Access. It's going to be the new type of wires that connect computers to the internet, quite simply. At the moment, most internet is sent down old-fashioned copper wires that have been there since, well, certainly before the Second World War. NGA is going to use fiber optic and is going to allow far, far greater speeds. Currently, most people are lucky if they have 8 megabits per second internet access. Hopefully, the best fiber optic will allow up to 100 megabit, taking Britain up with the best, such as Korea and Japan. One can immediately think of things like video conferencing. So currently, that's incredibly difficult and one needs very sophisticated equipment to successfully video conference. But now, with 100 megabit, in theory, you could have video conferencing from a pretty basic laptop as long as it was connected to NGA. A mixture of government policies and more enlightened bosses have allowed far more flexible working in Britain than previously considered. But I think this has got a lot further to go. The idea of a 9 to 5, Monday to Friday job, I think will seem a very odd idea to all sorts of people, especially working mothers and people who travel a lot. I think fast, in fact, seamless internet access really is the key to this. You need to be able to log on from home as quickly as if you were in the office, if not quicker. That's the only way flexible um, working can happen, and you need to have access to all the systems that a big company has. Many companies have special proprietary databases that really don't run on home computers, and you can't get access to them. But with cloud computing, and with fast internet access, that is the secret. There's no reason why all sorts of people won't spend, in fact, three days of the week out of the office, either working on the road, down the local cafe, at home, rather than in the office itself. As a media company, speed is of the essence now. So at The Telegraph, we're often competing with the news wires of this world to get the stories out there. Both us and a rival newspaper and someone like Reuters or Dow Jones or Bloomberg all have the same information. We all know what's happening, but we want to make sure that we get our version of the story out there before anyone else so that our readers uh, can access our information rather than any of our rivals. Now, sometimes at the moment it is very frustrating that we can publish a story and it takes, well, minutes certainly and sometimes longer before that story is publicly available to our readers on our internet site. One has to hope with super fast broadband, with new generation broadband, that one can push a button and literally, as well as metaphorically, it's there available like that.